Thank you for everything. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for being so kind. Eisenhower. Thank you. How are you again? How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. Al Altoff. With? Uh, I'm with the Palm Springs Buzz, but we knew each other back when I made your engagement. Oh, my back. gosh. All right. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to invite you to come on our show. Well, thank Glad you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, we're from the Marijuana Prohibition Project, uh -huh. a group of medical, me medical marijuana patients. Uh -huh. And uh, we'd like to be able to meet with you. We've asked. We've never got a response from your or office. We're, we're, we're kind of... I've I, met with folks from your group. That You met with me yeah. about three years ago. But yeah. We're very concerned. On the letter you wrote to us about your latest vote on the Hinkley Robach Amendment, you cited the race decision, but the race decision said Congress can do whatever it wants to do with medical marijuana, with marijuana laws. And yet you right. voted to allow okay. the DEA to continue to arrest patients, even though Congress could have voted okay. not to arrest patients. Right. That's your interpretation of it. But there's a much bigger interpretation that's important, and that is the uh, federal government has been given the task and the charge of regulating drugs. To me, what, if we separate out, because you know how I've been on this issue, and I, believe in, I believed in the state has spoken, and I would like to support the state's role in it. But if we separate out marijuana today, do we separate out a different drug tomorrow? So it's mu much more complicated. It's a policy issue. It's a policy issue about do we separate out now Vicodin, Percocet, anything else, and say that the state has exclusive role and right to, uh, to determine how uh, those drugs are used. So that's the issue. The issue for me, it's a policy one. You know I've been uh, before on that. And uh, I hated to have to reverse it, but I think that that's unfortunately where I am. And the FDA has a role, federal government has a role, and that the point of the legislation is that the federal government keeps its role in supervising drugs. Okay. So you cannot say, if you're going to claim marijuana is a medicinal drug, you cannot then say it's removed from the purview of the federal government, as nor could anybody else do it with Percocet, Percocet Vicodin, Aspirin, anything else that the FDA has, has uh, authority over. What can you do as a representative in the federal Congress to bring federal law into line with state law? Well, again, I think that the activists like yourself have a lot of work to do as far as proving the efficacy of, of marijuana and proving to the FDA it ought to be regulated and uh, controlled. But if that's where you guys really want to go, I think that's something you have to decide and the battle ought to be. You cannot argue on your left hand saying it's a medicine and on your right hand saying, saying don't treat it like it's a medicine. So I think that that's not my role to figure that out, answer out. I think well, it's, 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 the, it's, the, it's Congress's that declared it a Schedule One drug, and so it's Congress can change that. So it's up to so legislation like that you. legislation did that it's a state's rights. You uh, cannot say right. a Schedule One drug that's exactly has become right. California state that, issue. That's right. That's the problem. That's right. So, and it's Congress can change it. That's why we need to work with you. So well, I guess my question is, can we meet with you? Of course you can meet well, with me. Well, we've, we've sent letters. We've been sent emails. We were told to send it to Mark Trost. We never get any replies. How can I contact your office to well, actually get... Well, here's my staff, Ray and, and there's his card. So. Yeah, all right. So you'll set up a meeting with uh, us and Ms. Bono. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time. All righty. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Okay, so I will call you. Terrific. Is Thanks there a number much. here? Or just There's number a number right here and my email. I'd be happy to respond either way, whatever's more okay, convenient for I, you. We've sent letters. We've, I've sent, they were told to send to Mark Trost. I sent emails to him. We you have had meetings with a number of folks on this issue in our office, and many folks from the community have come in and met on this issue. So this is not a issue that she's not met with constituents on. Uh -huh. In addition to that, uh, we have also had our health LAs meet with representatives when the congresswoman has not been available, and uh, she's certainly happy to meet with constituents on any issue. Okay, well, we'll, we'll call you. We'll set up a meeting, and thank you very much. Appreciate I appreciate it. your time. Appreciate you. Yeah, well, you feel better. Whoa! <laughs>